Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So this has been long overdue since I will be reviewing content scale and I've been hesitant about doing this review because just of the sheer price factor. So we are now at the content scale pricing page as, as you can see. If you disregard this one time uh, trial, <laughs> which is usually one USD for other programs, but here it's 40 bucks. The uh, price plans range from 250 and for 250 you get you get eight posts, so not a lot. Then for five hundred dollars you get twenty posts, open fifty posts for a thousand and then one hundred posts for fifteen hundred. So this is an extremely expensive. I would just I would go as far as to say that this is the most expensive AI copywriting tool out there. Maybe there is something even more expensive I'm not aware of, but just let me know. But uh, I have decided to take this to the test. And uh, there is this keyword that both Qual and Agility Writer struggled with. And the keyword is uh, Claude Alternatives. So Claude uh, in and of itself is a recent AI tool. And both uh, articles struggled a little bit uh, with the content. So we will feed the same keyword to content and scale, and then we will measure SEO score, readability, plagiarism, word count, and AI score. And I haven't even played around since I only have two articles for the, for the trial, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, I'm guessing I will need to create a project first. Okay. Project URL, language, oh, just say test. Project URL, let's just say this is trickmenot.ai. Tone of voice, um, everything else is going to be left as is. AI reviews. Okay, create project. Project context, strongly recommended. What is the website about? The website is about reviews of SEO and AI tools. Monthly posts, let's say 10. Target audience, uh, bloggers. Okay. Looks like we have created our first project. Now what? Okay, write posts. Beautiful. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, how would you like to create a long form blog post from an existing blog post from a YouTube video? Nice. Uh, I may try that later from a keyword. Yeah. And you can, oh, from custom audio file. Nice. From a podcast. Hmm. Interesting. So lots of opportunities for repurposing content. So the keyword in question is Claude Alternatives. Let's just add 2023. Now, just leave it as is. Additional context. So this is optional. Talk about how you can do X um, and what to watch for, what counts. So we leave as default. Write post now. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Keyword edit. Okay. And now it's in queue and I guess I'll have to pause the recording. And actually, let's, uh, I have uh, a pretty recent video about uh, qual versus agility. And I was alluding to this video earlier. And let's just pass the second credit on using this functionality from YouTube to video. And this will be our target URL. What keyword do you want to rank for? Qual writer versus agility writer okay and we'll test that out also oh it's giving the table of contents already wow Claude alternatives are revolutionizing the ai chatbot landscape the world of Claude alternatives is vast <laughs> with numerous comparisons uh, vying for dominance in the dynamic field okay Understanding Claude and its competitors. Uh, okay, evaluating the features of Claude. Brought to life by, by Entropic. Claude boasts unique features that strike a balance between creativity and control. Well, this one is fairly accurate. 
Comparing ratings and reviews, uh, user satisfaction can be measured by looking at ratings with different tools. The rise of language models, cloud and its impact, and generative AI, AI revolution, free alternatives to cloud. What, what can you can you list any? Uh, Lambda, Bart, key takeaways, right Sonic, Cisco. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, this is still, <laughs> this is still rubbish. Uh, yeah, this is no good. So I like the formatting. So there, there are some quotes and lists and key takeaways, which are for some reason in the middle of the article and not in the beginning. And we have some external links as well. But as far as the content goes, not actually led to my website, nice. Uh, what if I press learn more, what happens? Uh, open link. Uh, it's leading to Google blog. Okay. So what happens now? It's got a 67 score. So I can optimize it. What if I so I need the ones in the in the red. Well, the color coding is confusing. So this one is overused or underused. This one is not used at all. Oh, okay. So I need the red ones. Google Bart. And what what happens if I press on the keyword? Does it copy it? Mm. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm a bit confused, but that's okay. And I won't be attempting to optimize it, uh, even though uh, it's nice to know that there is this SEO optimization module. What about research? Uh, plagiarism, a detector. Oh, so I can detect. Oh, we use originality for that. What about brief? Mm. Okay, media, featured image, none. Okay, so let me just copy this. And I'll probably get rid of the uh, table of contents. Because um, this is not needed. Okay. And we don't have the title. And where is the title? I'm not seeing the a title here. Maybe this is the title. Doesn't look like it. Uh, we'll just say this is the title. Okay. Okay. And uh, 71. Okay. So the the actual SEO score is 71. So it's on par with Coal Writer, but less than agility. Let's check the word count. The word count is 200, 2,278. So again, it's uh, more than qual, less than agility. Let me check readability. So readability is 27. Oh, ouch. What about plagiarism? Plagiarism is 1%. Plagiarism 1%. 27. Let's, let's go to Hemingway. Grade 13. Ouch. So, so far, guys, this is not good. <laughs> Grade 13. And now for the final score, we'll go to originality. I know that Content Scale has its own AI detection tool, but in my experience, it's pretty easy to pass. So we we'll choose originality, 0% original. So nothing to write home about. Um, agility was 15, qual was zero as well. And uh, we can actually check readability because originality measures readability as well. And we did uh, measure readability with originality <laughs> last time. So it's 30.4. 
Oh, so guys, we will uh, look at the YouTube uh, transcripts turned into article, but so far I'm not impressed. So SEO score is on par with Koala, but uh, less than agility. The worst readability out of the bunch. Plagiarism, hang on. I forgot to check plagiarism. Plagiarism, zero, okay. So no plagiarism, which is good. Word count uh, is on par with Koala and uh, doesn't pass originality. And as far as content goes, just, I wouldn't say it's, I, I would even go as far as to say it's worse than Koala and Agility for this particular keyword. I'm not saying that it's going to be the case for all the keywords. And now just so we'll close uh, all these tabs, we don't need them. And let's just look at the other piece of content. And actually, uh, I'm looking for the perfect uh, YouTube uh, to article writer right now. So where do I go? Do I go back to projects? Yeah, reviews. Qual versus agility. So let's take a look. Qual versus agility is a topic that stirs considerable interest among content creators. Unraveling the intricacies, so intricacies of Qual writer. So this this means uh, bad visibility. So no sane person in their own sane mind will say intricacies. The powerhouse feature of driving GPD for <laughs> analyzing how well Qual writer performs. Um, no, this is just a wall of text. And when I'm using OpenAI or even ChatGPT with the uh, plugins, I'm getting a much better response. So no tables, nothing, no. So there you have it, guys. Like I, this is a minuscule sample size, and I'm sure if I were to come up with a bunch of uh, less uh, factual, more sub subjective keywords, content scale would have proven itself better. But uh, for this price tag, this is not worth it, in my opinion. So I would, I could not, unfortunately, recommend content scale, and I will not be using content scale. It doesn't mean it's a bad program. It's just my personal preference. And you guys know that I use Agility Writer and SEO Writing.ai and people keep asking me what the differences are. So once again, Agility Writer is for factual competitive niches. SEO Writing is for non-factual subjective niches. And if you want, if you're in visual niches and you want beautiful, beautiful images. And once again, for all of the tools that I've mentioned, apart from constant scale, I have unique promo codes that are not seen anywhere else. So 30% for SEO writing and 15% for agility writers. So no YouTuber on planet Earth has these discounts. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.